Nature of the Roots Now that you have reviewed our previous lesson on solving quadratic equations, this time we will be dealing with a new concept. And for the first topic, you will know more about the discriminant and how does the discriminant help us in determining the nature of the roots. The expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. The discriminant is used to find the number of real roots of a quadratic equation and also it describes the nature of the roots. If a, b, and c are real numbers and d is equal to b squared minus 4ac then the roots of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are 1. Real and unequal if the discriminant is greater than 0. 2 real and equal if the discriminant is equal to zero or three not real and unequal if the discriminant is less than zero moreover the roots are rational if the discriminant is a perfect square and irrational if the discriminant is not a perfect square determine the discriminant and the nature of the roots for one 3x squared equals negative 2x minus 5. First, transform the given equation into its general form and identify the values of a, b, and c. a here is 3, b is 2, c is 5. Next, use the formula for the discriminant. d equals b squared minus 4ac. Substitute the values of a, b, and c so you will have their d equals 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times 5, d equals 4 minus 60, 60 because it's 4 times 3 times 5, and 2 squared is 4, and 4 minus 60 is negative 54. Since d is less than 0, then the roots are not real and unequal. Number 2. 2x two squared equals x minus 1. First, transform the given equation into its general form. The general form of this equation is 2x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. Next, determine the values of your a, b, and c. a is 2, b is negative 1, c is 1. Next, write the formula for the discriminant. d equals b squared minus 4ac. Then, substitute the values of your a, b, and c. Next, negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 4 times 2 times 1 is negative 8. And 1 minus 8 is negative 7. Since the value of our discriminant is less than 0, then the roots are not real and unequal. Number 3 x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Luckily, the given equation is already in the general form. So all we need to do is to determine the value of our a, b, and c. a is 1, b is, b is 6, c is 9. Next, write the formula for the discriminant. d is equals to b squared minus 4ac. Next, Substitute the values of your a, b, and c. 6 squared is 36 and negative 4 times 1 times 9 is negative 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. Since the value of your discriminant is 0, then the roots are real, equal, and rational. Number 4. 6 x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. The given equation is already in the general form, so all we need to do is to determine the value of our a, b, and c. a here is 6, b is negative 1, c is negative 2. Next, write the formula for the discriminant. And then, substitute the values of your a, b, and c. 1 negative 1 
negative 1 squared is 1, and negative 4 times 6 times negative 2 is a positive 48, and 1 plus 48 is 49. Since the value of your discriminant is greater than 0 and it is a perfect square, then the roots are real, unequal, and rational.